Easy. That's a special delivery. I speak trilingual. That's a special delivery. Articulate, triple threat, artillery. I that is actually maybe gonna end up being my favorite two bars of any XG rap thing. Like I spit trilingual. That's a special delivery. What did she say? Arti oh my! Oh my gosh! Welcome to my palace. Champagne in your chalice. Even I'm not single for one of me. Tell that a boy so we can to deep. Rolling around the world. Hello, everyone. What is going on? My name is the Newbie Warrior, and welcome back to my K pop reaction channel. And today we have another not K pop reaction. Uh, this is the XG Tape 3B. Uh, I assumed there would be a week between these. Uh, foolishly so, apparently. Uh, this is Nothing uh, by Jiren and Kokona. Uh, the first uh, 3A tape was insane. Um, Maya wrecked me on that. Um, this, uh, yeah, I, I expect insanity. XG's rap line is crazy. And they're on Nothing as the beat. And I was like, Nothing? Name doesn't ring a bell. What song is that? And they always put it in the description, which I found out after. I feel dumb. I didn't know that until after because i could have just told you it was a chord a beat before um but i scrolled down and i saw nor n-o-r-e noriega um and then instantly i i looked up the original song and i played like 10 seconds of it and i was like i know this song uh banger absolutely insane banger um yeah this beat is so filthy this beat is so filthy uh I, I don't know what else to say. I have very high expectations, both because of the beat they're on and because of what I've heard Jiren and Coconut do before. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, one more actually reactions, click like, consider subscribing. And uh, sorry I'm a little late on this one. Um, dealing with uh, possibly strep and also uh, a spike in pollens. <laughs> so we got the hay fever. We got the normal fever. We got all kinds of fevers. Um... Anyway, let's jump in. Here we go. Yeah, this beat is disgusting. This beat is disgusting. Actually took me 10 seconds to recognize it. Oh, there we are. <laughs> I, I always feel weird saying his name because, like, I know him as Noriega, obviously from, like, the duo, but then it's, like, Nore, Nori, uh, I, I, like, the Nardwar interview, he says, like, Nori, like, it, it's, when he says it, he initially said N-O-R-E, and then he's changed it, so, anyway, but the, yeah, the call out, you got to. If you're on this beat, you gotta mention him. <laughs> what a line what a line i love the the continued like wolf imagery um wolves as animals you might know already i'm sure i've talked about this in she reactions uh, one of if not my favorite animals is the timber wolf um i don't know the uh, like metaphorical perception of wolves and like the pack mentality and like um i don't know it's just really cool that they always continually mention that obviously we're called alphas as their fans so anytime we get the wolf stuff going it makes me very happy i love that Ooh, the whisper Oh, that's so hard. Oh, that's so hard. That O2 flow. She a problem. She flipped to the C to the O T O and A be popping on them. 
And then she flipped it to the Nashi a problem. Nashi a problem. Coconut's a problem. Let's go. Let's go. Dude, Coconut's so charismatic. It's crazy. So smooth. So smooth. Um man, so smooth. <laughs> Jimin's so smooth. I think if I know a lot of people hold the opinion that Kokona is like, I don't know, like just technically the best rapper in XG. I, I, for me, it is Juden. I think Juden is probably like the most insane. Just like her wordplay and like the cadence, um, like the alliteration she, stuff she does, like she's just really, really good. I think Kokona is, I, I don't want to say the most charismatic because Harvey's, got charisma for days i mean they all do but like coconut certainly got the most attitude which makes her delivery everything she says every line just punch really hard um but i don't know for me jordan just she's so good she's so good Mm. Yeah, like the charisma is wild here. It's wild. What you going to do? What you going to do? I love that they put him in the chorus, man. Uh, that's so dope. That's so dope. Uh, yeah, this is <laughs> this is filthy. <laughs> She's like, Coconut's just unbelievably saucy. Like, she's feeling herself so hard at all times. It's wild. Still haven't taken an L. Not even once, she said. Not one time. Start acting up. What you gonna do? I love this whisper hook. I love this whisper hook right as that beat, that boom, 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 As that comes back in, it's so good. What you gonna do? Nothing. What you go? It's so good. We can back it up, but you don't want the rest of the girls to start acting up. What you gonna do? What you trying to do? What you gonna do? What you trying to do? I speak trilingual. That's a special True. Oh, not the articulate triple threat delivery <laughs> or triple threat artillery. I speak trilingual. What'd she say? That's a unique delivery. Triple threat artillery. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, oh, that's nasty. That's a special delivery. I speak trilingual. That's a special delivery. Articulate triple threat artillery. Articulate triple threat artillery. I that is actually maybe gonna end up being my favorite two bars of any XG rap thing. Like I spit trilingual. That's a special delivery. It, what did she say? Arti oh my! Oh my gosh! What you gonna do? That's insane! What you trying to do? I speak trilingual. The handoff so smooth. Delivery. Triple They don't know about the old school smoke. Oh, uh, Joe Camel. Oh, oh, I'm so I'm going back to this triple threat thing again. I speak trilingual. Ah, oh, it's so gross. That is so. That's such a gross bar. What you trying to do? I speak trilingual. That's a special delivery. 
That's so good. Yes, ma'am. Mm. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Um, it's it, actually are interesting because they have the idol training background, and they're doing Korean music shows, but they're not really in. They're not in like outside of the training. They're not in what I would consider to be, like, the K-pop or the J-pop realm. I know I'm, I'm very limited in my, my J-pop experience, but I, I guess they're J-pop in the same way that, like, but they're not part of, like, any of the rigid J-pop systems, right? There's obviously a lot of popular Japanese artists that also don't operate within that system, so I guess in that way they are... J-pop, but not, like, idol J-pop. Not, you know what I mean? I, like, I wouldn't consider, like, Banana Lemon to be an idol group. Um, yes, they're a girl group, but they're not an idol group. So, I, I think it's that's cool. It's cool because they have the idol training background. They do the music shows. Um, obviously, they're mingling with idols. Um, but they're not really in that. They're kind of doing their own very hip-hop R&B thing at their own little sub-label, so... That's sick. That's sick. Gorilla mode. I can't believe Jiren just said gorilla mode. <laughs> Let's go. Also, also. Also, obviously, Simon says, but uh, their CEO's named Simon as well, too, so that's kind of fun. J-U-R go, J-U-R go in on the mic. <laughs> I love it. J-U-R go in on the mic. <laughs> the Lala outro. Not sure how I feel about the Lala outro. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm not in love with it. Not in love with the outro. <laughs> oh, they're feeling the beat though. I um. This is so dope. <laughs> this is so dope. Yeah, I don't love the la 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 outro, but the lead into the la la la's was really funny, so. Yo, can we get an actual mixtape, XG? Can y'all, can, can y'all put one out? I feel like mixtapes in 2023 would be weird on copyright. But like, I don't know, just drop a, drop a tape with everything on there. Like, give me flak files. Just drop, just drop the flax. just drop the flax. Um. Yeah, can can we bring back mixtapes hip hop? I know YouTube like remixes have kind of replaced that, but can we get them like so I can listen to anyway? Um, no, this is so dope. This is so dope. Everything about this is so dope. The handoffs, the back and forth, the charisma, the delivery, uh, the fact that they're on this beat. Ooh, this beat. Ooh, this beat. Um. Obviously, I wasn't, <laughs> I was four years old, I think, when this song came out, right? So, I'm not gonna pretend like it was on the radio when I was a kid. But, as soon as I discovered hip-hop, um, I don't know, Noriega definitely stood out to me in terms of just flow and, like, pure hip-hop. Um, I came into contact with his music because of, like, obviously the, the early stuff with 50 and all of that. Uh, and obviously, 50's <laughs> absolutely insane. Um... One of the absolute greatest. So I, I, I yeah, I, I, I got a lot of love, a lot of love from Noriega. I think this beat is insane. I think they did justice to the beat. They, they did a lot of justice to this beat. They killed it. They sound insane. The handoffs are great. Uh, I need to hear that triple, that trilingual triple 
delivery artillery scheme again. One more. Because it's nuts. Oh, oh, that's so good. That is so unbelievably good. Um, yeah, that's like probably my favorite XG rapping ever in that little handoff right there. Like, if I had to isolate one moment that's my favorite, that's the new favorite moment. Um, thank you so much for watching. I love XG, man. These girls are dope. They are dope. They're so good. This rap line is great. Uh, hopefully we got more Vox stuff coming soon as well. Uh, thank you so much for watching. My name is Anubia Warrior. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And please remember to stay Anubia.